Well, I think what makes the vampires sensual is that, first of all, his victims respond to his charm and the fact that he draws them into his aura with um, beautiful words, poetry, his looks, which are often aristocratic, elegant. He's usually portrayed as someone who is tall, dark, pale skin, graceful body. Uh, he wears a tuxedo under a black cape. And he has the capacity to win women's hearts and to draw them into his power. And then the bite itself is like the act of sex. There is penetration and there is pleasure and there is abandonment to his desires. I don't believe in the supernatural, but what I do believe is that these myths, these stories, these folk tales lie within the unconscious. Jung said that these visions that we respond to cannot be invented and cannot be suppressed, but they lie deep within the human consciousness. I think this is very important. We respond to these stories because they, they have a truth within them that has existed since the beginning of humanity. The story of the vampire goes back to before the Egyptians, the Greeks, and it exists in every single culture. Why is it so widespread? Not because it's true, but because it contains the truth of our fears and our desires. Joseph Campbell said, the myth is a metaphor for society. The myth is actually an example of our dreams and our deepest desires. And it occurs again and again and again in stories and folk tales and in fairy tales, in paintings and in woodcuts. And it occurs within families, these myths of, of fathers against sons and jealous mothers and sisters against sisters. And when you look back at the Greek myths, you see this sort of stories that you feel you're experiencing all day long in, in, in your own life. So you say, is it true? It is truer than true. Because if the, if the opposite of life is death, if the negation of life is death, and the vampire is the negation of the negation, he is, he is living death. And true becomes a kind of uh, superficial term when you think about how deep that goes in our subconscious, how much we want that to be true.